Apostle James taught us in chapter 5 and verse 13. He says, if any of you are afflicted, let him pray. The moment you sense that there is an affliction, you came back home, your children are sick, your husband returns back and he says, I don't know what is happening in the office. You lost money in business. Everything gone. They collected your land, your property. These are events that require divine intervention. Your first port of call is to begin to pray. This is why God gave us the prayer language of tongues. It's not a Pentecostal issue. The Bible says we have a limitation. The limitation is that we do not know what to pray for as we ought to, but the Holy Spirit. Ah, he knows, oh, he knows how to make intercession. So I lock myself. While I am praying, my mind may be unfruitful, but there is the intercessory ministry of the Holy Spirit. Prayer. Praying in the Spirit, but not just praying in the Spirit. Word-based prophetic declarations. I'm showing you how to provoke intervention. You cannot take the Word of God out of the equation word based not superstitious prophetic declarations word based prophetic declarations two scriptures we're still talking on prayer isaiah 43 and verse 26 believers learn this 43 26 isaiah put me in remembrance he says let us plead together he says declare thou that thou mightest be justified my hand is able to save my hand is able to lift but i'm waiting for you to declare hmm. yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies anointing my head with fresh oil my cup runs over you are declaring I have no covenant with death in the name of Jesus I declare as for me and my house you are making declarations because you are seeing storms rising you don't keep quiet when storms rise the worst thing to do is to be silent hear me I'm speaking to you because there are people storms all around your life when they woke Jesus Christ he did not discuss with the storm peace be still Halasuda parika tuskiata your spiritual life suddenly your fire for prayer down your passion for the word down favor down everything down you should know that you are surrounded that there is something that is the time to open up your mouth i decree and declare in the name of jesus the lord is my light and salvation this is not just a pentecostal thing it's a formula for victory Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Oh, I reject death. I reject death in the name of Jesus. Don't feel bad and feel that's how this one said it and died. That's none of your business. You speak. You do your own part and declare over your destiny. I choose life. I set before you life and death. I choose life, I choose health, I choose victory by the Spirit of God. Thousand shall fall by my side, ten thousand by my right side, but none shall harm me. With my eyes will I see the reward of the wicked. I arise and shine because my light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Gentiles come to my light, they are kings to the brightness of my rising. For my shame I received double, where I've been deserted so that no man help them please, passes through me. I become an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Prayer. Listen, please sit down. The moment believers learn this world over, the moment you see an unfavorable situation in your life, you know it is the devil because along with that situation will come the spirit of depression. And the assignment of depression is to keep you silent. 
listen to what I'm telling you. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm speaking as a man of God. I know that depression has an assignment to keep you silent. Satan is the master of the flesh realm. So this is how my life will be. I thought this will work. I had a dream and I thought the job will come. And you now keep quiet. And the angels are saying, look at this. There is a law. We are ready to move. God is ready. Help them please. God is ready to move. Psalms 107 verse 2. These are the arsenals of victory. Psalms 107. Please very quickly. Let the redeemed of the Lord. If they are truly the redeemed. Don't just think so. Don't just wish so. Say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Are you learning now? You return back and there is a medical report that is disturbing just when that is happening your child brings a result after spending so much on his school fees you see an evil report are we together the moment that is happening you just hear that your investment has crashed you're a politician they told you okay this is supposed to be your position you're a man of God you come to church and it looks like everything is going down that's not the time to be quiet and that's not the time to attract sympathy you are the first prophet of your destiny go and shut your door remove your ceo regalia put on that priestly robe shake up arakatosia someone blast in the spirit in one minute i would be silent in the name of jesus christ listen listen believers hear me hold on hold on do you know that many believers allow tragedy to mount until it presses them down that's when they resort to god as a last option and i will not be silent I will always Listen, an evil report is happening. Your children are going haywire. As the man, you are not just the head of the home for nothing. Wear your priestly regalia while your children are sleeping. Walk room by room. You are laying hands upon them, not my house. I build the spiritual fortification by prophesying. I decree and declare the foolishness of faith. I engage it. The righteousness of faith speaks on this wise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I will help you. Come and meet me tomorrow. And you come tomorrow and say, who asked you to come here? This favor. Just when you are going, you can't hit someone. Just when you learn to read the signs don't wait for evil to stay don't be along with evil attack it from infancy don't be along with evil attack it from infancy hallelujah you go to bed in the night and you have a funny dream that you know already shows that there is an attack that the spirit of death is following people in your family listen don't just wake up and write it in a jotter 
and, and then when it happens, you say, no, get up and say, no way. In the name of Jesus, I, if he followed my father and my father's father, I call as a priest and a king and a priest. What this declaration? Listen, it was it was God's servant, Bishop David Oyedeko, who said, no matter how mad a man is, he will not enter inside fire by mistake and say it's confusion. No matter how mad he is, when he sees fire, he says he makes his angels wings and his ministers flaming fire. You're sleeping and someone takes your name to a shrine for political reasons. Oh, let this person die or let this person not win. You don't have to go to the shrine right from where you are. Skabakatus kiata, empreketes kebata, leko skabarus kiata. Listen, believers, hear me. This is not just some spiritual jamboree. The times that we live in, it will be risky to not know these truths and to not engage them. Your life literally hangs upon these truths. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Please sit down. Please sit down. Let me challenge you. I want to challenge every family here as much as God grants grace. Provided you and your wife are in agreement, set one day this week, even if it's for 30 minutes, hold your hands. Walk around that house. Identify anything that does not look like Christ. Zoom your tongues to it. Scatter it as if it does not exist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, no, my womb will not give birth to armed robbers. As a woman, you lay your hands. Or sit down and watch things go bad. Just help those under the anointing. There is a strong anointing in this place. Because this is a message for the body of Christ. Divine intervention comes on the wings of prayer. A prayerless church, no matter what else you have, is a powerless church. A wordless church, no matter what you have, is a powerless church. The ministry of prayer and the word are the foundations of the true church. Listen to me. I'm not creating a doctrine out of this, but let me challenge you. Obtain grace from God to wake up in the night. Conquer slumber. The night time is when kings win. Is when we establish victories. You're walking around your house in the night. The Lord told you you will be a senator. The Lord told you you will be a governor. The Lord told you you will be a CEO. And there are forces sitting down making decrees. You don't need to fight them. Go to your closet. This is how kings reign. People of God, hear me. With every sense of humility, that's how we got here. I'm not telling you cunningly devised fables. Everything about your finances is dying, scattering. You are not lazy. You are hardworking. They are stealing from your shop. They are cheating you. They are lying. Counseling is not the solution alone. Go back and pray. There is an evil force wanting to discredit God in my life. I attack you in the name of Jesus. Listen. I don't promote the devil. And I don't mean to market the devil. But I have seen many demons. I have seen many spirits. By the privilege of my calling and the apostolic office, I have been exposed to the realm of the spirit. I understand scripture. I have been well mentored by fathers of faith 
and veterans of the gospel the things you are hearing are not cunningly devised fables don't ignore it you will spend your lifetime paying the price we live in an evil world your portion will come to you by insisting from the days of john until now the kingdom suffered violence it is a violent that will take it by force can i tell you this there is no african family that is immune to witchcraft by default it's a lie if not by bloodline by territorial connection when we pray like this we do not negate the finished work of christ we rather stand in partnership our prayer is our participatory role to establish it here and now listen as powerful as god is he did not cast sin out of men he didn't say sin i cast you out there are rules of engagement in the spirit as for me i've made up my mind god gave me this mouth not only to eat but to create my destiny and i insist for my life for this ministry silence is not just shouting and jumping around no 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 an intentional approach to your growth take responsibility listen body of christ thank god for the vessels god has given us but we must become serious and mature to become the first prophets of our destiny go and lock your door pray for me pray for me is good but you must take authority over your situation by the power of the holy ghost the mystery of divine intervention give this message to anyone you know and you love please sit down the first key is prayer for as long as i live i will never stop praying for as long as god has anointed me i will never stop praying for as long as this ministry god grants me the privilege of leading this ministry we will never stop praying for as long as i live i will never ignore the word of god no matter where whatever lifts you is what sustains you don't throw it away don't throw this bible for money don't throw this bible for awards hold it together with the awards this is it the alternative to this is charms and witchcraft and all kinds of troubles that come with side effects i found your word and i did eat it it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul heaven and earth will pass away but the word of the lord abides forever please hear me the only guarantee to our fulfilling the purposes of god as we await the return of christ with honor is to get serious with this scripture please hear me you are seated here and there is an attack on your spiritual life take it seriously don't just say one day i'll think about it i am telling you now if you have been praying to confirm whether it's an attack i'm answering that prayer by the grace of god it's an attack i hope you still love me this night please pray please pray P pray for me is good but pray in the name of jesus christ and when you are praying i'm not being harsh on you i'm just shouting because of the passion burning in me listen by the grace of god don't be praying and browsing except if the holy ghost speaks to you and you are looking for scriptures quickly keep this thing aside this thing is a blessing but in the name of jesus christ show your dominion over it by keeping it on one side when you are praying you can't be doing too many things and focus lock the door sometimes sincere people can come to distract your prayer and study life how are you are you at home peace be unto this as politely tell them sorry i love you but i'm spending a few minutes if they love you and they love your destiny they should excuse you look live by values otherwise you will crash your spiritual life down you are praying with fasting turn every plate upside down in your house 
Atusia. Lord, there is a spirit attacking my influence. There is a spirit attacking my fervency for you. It didn't used to be like this. What happened to my prayer fire? What happened to my word fire? I sleep by 7 p.m. I wake up by 9 a.m. in the morning. Something is wrong with my spiritual life. Fight depression. Speak. I reject it. Ah, I know I lost one billion in this investment. My company is in trouble. I know that this has happened. I know they've diagnosed me with fibroid or cancer or whatever. I know that there is a situation. Things don't seem to be adding up. But let me die believing you. You return back. You study scripture. And now the advantage we have, there are many people who have gone through the labor of putting the required scripture you need. Just a little search online and you can find scriptures. People have paid the price already. If you have an office or a prayer room, surround it with powerful scriptures. Remove pictures of when you were small and keep them aside and put scriptures. While you are praying, you turn this light firing from one direction. Please listen to what I'm telling you. This is the key to victory. Do you know why I'm telling you this? So that when you rise, when they ask you, yes, you will say it's God's grace, but you wouldn't tell lies. You can't say, I don't know what I did. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. You must register your presence in the realm of the spirit as a touch not for me, for my children, for all that surrounds me. Touch not. Do you know prayer can become a habit? You are praying and you just stretch. For stretching for two minutes and waking up, you are not fully awake. But the realm of the spirit and demons will suffer just because you are ah, before you turn back. Is any man afflicted? Let him pray. Can I tell you this? I don't mean I don't mean to create controversy or trouble. I've come to this city in peace, but let me tell you this. I made up my mind everybody under my roof must serve my god listen carefully you can't be under my roof at my cost and do what you want to do no no if the owner of the house is praying you should pray don't get up and say whatever no it's a it's a, it's a personal uh, um, revelation i'm not saying it must be so for you so that you don't allow people to bring all kinds of familiar spirits and loiter your house okay this is how we pray in this house you are welcome 5 a.m or 6 a.m with it's a diff if there are special cases that's all right but as much as possible the point of neglect is the access point for demons where you neglect the point of neglect many of us started raising our children well but when they became teenagers in a bid to honor them for maturity we started subtracting spiritual values you take away prayer and give your child a car you did not help the child let him pick the prayer before the car key i don't know how i got here please sit down let's let's talk about we have to finish so number one prayer please pray 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 in the spirit pray in the spirit we do not know the evil that confronts us day and night but we can pray it's our zone of safety is the formula that the father gave us pray the moment you detect things around your life that are not lining up with the purposes of god the moment you see that the agenda of god is being interrupted souls are not being saved in and through your life you are a man of god and for two weeks you made an altar call nobody came out don't laugh and say it's all right everybody is saved that's not there is no such thing as that the same way the poor you will always have with you the unsaved you will always have with you the day i spend a week in my life and my life does not save a sinner i will go on a retreat and repent before god what is the anointing for 
one week Sunday to Sunday nobody came to Jesus through my life nobody got healed through my life no demon was casted out nobody understood the kingdom through my life you must take that responsibility authority comes with responsibility